Yeah. Oh my God, my background is a mess. <laughs> it's not a mess. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I'm trying not to bend because my dress is really short. Ah, this is so much work. I didn't plan this. I'm terrible. I suck at this. You guys see my notes? Oh, this is terrible. Hi. Hi. This is so last minute. What did YouTube say about that thing? What is? Huh. Hi guys. Oh, there are people. Hi. I literally only have, have 30 minutes. 30 minutes, guys. Because I have to go live on IG at 8 p.m. with Bisola. Um, but I haven't done this in so long. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. I'm so sorry. I'm terrible. I'm meant to be uploading. Ugh. I can't be uploading because that's a lie, right? I'm meant to be shooting a video. No, no, what the hell am I saying? <laughs> I don't know why I did this, but this is what it is. I'm meant to be editing a video that I'm going to put up. It's meant to be the behind the scenes of Skinny Girls in Transit from my lenses, meaning that, you know, just little bits and bobs that I took while we're on set. And so I'm going to upload it, hopefully tonight or tomorrow. But that's besides the point. I know you're seeing this dress again. I'm sorry, this is like my regular like quarantine outfits. Sorry. So yeah, hi guys, what's up? This was very impromptu to be honest with you. I was reading something about this new feature that they have on YouTube, it's called Super Chat. And I'm thinking I'm gonna try it, but I said I was gonna do live first, say hi and how are you guys doing? Hey, what's up? It's been a hot ass minute. So I'm going live on Bissola's channel on IG at 8 p.m. And then from there, you know, who knows? But I haven't been on live in a minute. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? I'm struggling. Some days are good. Some days are just struggles, you know? But it's good to see you lots, man. What's good, fam? Oh, my afro. You guys, let me tell you what happened, yeah? I tried to put it in a bun, but I had a headache. And I was like, you know what? I can't kill myself. So I need to change my outfit for this live so that you don't judge me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to wear, but whatever. But anyways, how are you guys? Oh my God, it's so good to be on live here. Hi guys. Did you guys enjoy my last video? I tried to be cool and I was wearing this dress. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I tried to be cool on my last video. It was meant to be funny. I think some people found it funny. I think some people didn't connect as much, but anyways, it's fine. How are you guys? What is good? I'm seeing everybody. Hello. Hi. Sorry, I say sorry a lot. Especially because I'm flustered. I didn't expect to do this. I was reading this thing about this super chat. I'm trying to understand it. So yeah, when I'm ready, I'll let you guys know though. But yeah. How is everybody doing? We're fine. Oh, bless. Oh, you enjoyed my last video. It was funny. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, man. Missed you a lot. Oh, thank you. Love you guys too. You guys are so are you polite to deal. That's good. Oh, it's the Instagram people that are usually feisty. Yeah, they do come ready to fight. I'm I'm trying Ebon, you know. I'm trying I'm trying to keep safe. You know, I think for me, um, it's more of a mental thing than it has been anything else. And I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. Um, it's been a mental struggle. I find myself sometimes just having like crazy panic attacks. Um Praying, crying, praying. <laughs> I'm so emotional during this time. I've never been as emotional or vulnerable. It's been crazy, but I know that God has all of us in control. So, yeah, man, that's where we're at. Yes, I'm with you on that one, not be myself on the. It's been a yo. If anybody had told me that I would ever get to the point whereby I might question my mental state of mind, not in the sense that, you know, I think I'm crazy or none of that. I just like. To the point whereby I'm like, am I, am I, am I, am I, could I be depressed today? And be like, okay, I might be depressed today and it's okay. <laughs> so yeah, I found myself, you know, in that situation quite a few times. Um, Wednesday night was one of them. I didn't sleep from Wednesday until yesterday around 3 p.m. When my best friend literally had to call me, I had to call her and I was crying and I'm like, my chest feels heavy. Oh my God, I just feel, I've prayed, but this is how I feel. I just have people calm down. I'm just like, guys, it's been, I'm just not me with no good. So imagine person with no good. Hey, <laughs> gosh, 
it's been it's been it's been one of those man so all i'm i guess all i'm trying to say is you know if you're if you're one of those people exactly what joel says you know it's okay to not be okay if you're one of those people that hasn't been okay this entire period it's okay you know it's okay it's okay it's okay i've gotten to that point where i literally have to talk to myself when i start to feel like as if no my chest is starting to feel like it's about to cave in i feel like my heart is beating too fast i literally take deep breaths and i'm like bimbo you are fine psalm 91 you are okay there is nothing wrong with you get out of your head it is well god is in control i literally have to and then i'll put on like some calming music and then sleep in oh my god guys my level of insomnia hello hi inso is my new name inso many your i literally find it hard to sleep so like night all it's like my new best friend a lot of suicides in the u.s yo it's draining and i can understand how it's easy for people to choose that route but please i want us to be encouraged and to know that you know no matter how stifling because that's what it, li it literally feels like you're choking yourself you know no matter how stifling this period might feel please understand and please know that taking your life is not the best solution you know it's, it's it's not so please let's all be encouraged i want us to try and find people that we can call on in times like this and we can lean on to just reach out to and just say this is how i'm feeling right now talk to me or pray with me you know you can send me messages on snapchat people send messages on snapchat i respond even though sometimes they send some crazy ass messages but i respond either with an lol or something so please let's 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 um be encouraged i'm going live at 8 p.m yes i am we'll be solid on ig no i am but i haven't done this in a minute and i was like what am i doing let me do it i was trying to edit the video for youtube well guys guess who edits now may <laughs> hello so anyways i just came on here to say i should say hi and my snapchat handle is bimbola b-e-e-m-b-o-l-a yeah i wanted to find out how this works because there's something called super chat and i think it's where we talk to people and then you lot i don't know how it works i'm still trying to figure it out but i'm going to find out so yeah but um, I'm hoping everybody's okay. I just wanted to come on here to just say hi. It was very spare of the moment kind of things. And to just encourage anybody out there because it's not it's not easy at all. It's not it's not easy at all. And you know, yeah. Ah, the mental thing. I'm back at work on Monday. So I'm hoping that at least I'm looking forward to just being able to get out. Even if it's just for nine hours. I think I, th I think it will do my mental state of mind good. I'm also praying and pleading the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us that, you know, we'll be fine. I'm literally just going to go to the office and come back home. So I'm hoping that it will go well. I had to leave my location yesterday to Texas in order to be near my family. Yo, guys, I think that's another thing also. My siblings, pretty much my family live in America. And my mom went in March to join them for a bit, not knowing, you know, this was going to happen. And so I'm literally the only person in Nigeria. So every time I get panic attacks, it's like, God forbid, if anything happens to me, who can I call? god aside from god though so yeah but it, it is well it is well please let's be encouraged let's know that we are here for each other you know if anybody needs to reach out like i said send me a message on snapchat i do respond so yeah but what's good though let's talk small about sgit before you go like <laughs> i've been trying not to talk about it people have judged me with this my outfit so this is my covid outfit please in the house tense i wash it every day to be honest with you, because the sun is mad but yeah it's comfortable it's a dress i try to go commando too much information i know but okay let's talk about sgit real quick real quick sgit was so hilarious and motivating oh bless i'm happy you guys enjoyed it the finale dropped today <laughs> ah eunice i'm saying it because people are always sending me a message why are you always wearing these clothes but yeah it's their clothes so i always say that please i don't care but in case you are wondering why i'm wearing this cloth again i pass this why tensed <laughs> so i said tmi <laughs> sorry i'm sharing um sgit oh you lot you guys are not see this is why maybe i should just stick to my youtube live because people on youtube you people like you are speaking my ads people on instagram oh they're dangerous <laughs> oh that badder if I'm not speaking English, I don't want to hear. Oh, Sharon killed it though. Yeah, shout out to the, shout out to you guys first of all. Let me be let me be a hundred percent honest with you guys. You know, as much as some of the comments get under my skin because you guys, I'm like, don't you guys see the bigger picture? <laughs> I just laugh. <laughs> I'm vent. 
but um you guys have been amazing to be honest with you to know that some of you have been riding with us from like season one and like joke like joke this is like the fifth year because there was one season we shot there was one year we shot two episodes two seasons in one year so yeah it's been five years now so first of all shout out to you guys shout out to tim and danny evidently and um yeah man i'm grateful i'm happy it finally came full circle there's so much so much so much so much i really want to say but i'm going to save it for when i'm able to sit down and just put my thoughts together in terms of you know um my 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 mental take from this season because as much as i might be the producer and the one who comes up with synopsis with my writers and go back and forth with it you know it's always it's always amazing when you you you, you come up with something and then it's fleshed out in terms of script and then you sit down and then you read it and then you act it and then you forget about it because you've done it right and then when you're doing post which is edits you're seeing snippets and you're like ha, ha, ha. but then it doesn't never really fully come together until when you sit down afterwards and watch it so contrary to what a lot of people think i actually sit down like an audience and watch skinny girl even though i've seen it just before it came out on edits because i need to approve the edits but still when i'm sitting down and then there's some things you don't think about until when you see people's comments and you're like huh but this is where we're trying to go oh so this is where they saw it instead so it's been beautiful to see like i said we read i read every comment as much as i don't wanna <laughs> but i do i read every ass comment on our page on indani and it's been it's been it's been quite interesting to know that some people don't even watch it they just go to the comments and then they die there like they they bass bows bass bows kill everybody in the comments so yeah it's been it's been it's been interesting to see it's been a season that has been interesting because i literally didn't see the direction of how people were going to take it so i'm grateful for that and i'm thankful um i'm an inspiration oh, oh, i'm an inspiration um this season has had so much depth i'm, I'm happy you say that because there have been some comments where some people felt like this season was just off track so i guess it's one of those things where it's a hit or miss with some people um it's the end of season six in terms of anything else i really can't say right now <laughs> mama tiwa is a whole vibe totally that entire scene was hilarious but then some people felt it was too long which i can understand so you know to each his own um today was shame all the haters of this season <laughs> she said today said it all <laughs> you know are killing me man <laughs> yummy what are you saying <laughs> You don't need to stop making me laugh, man. Stop making me laugh. So that's how they just royally finished Skinny Girl in Transit. You guys don't even understand, bruh. You guys are all sitting down. People were going to work to be making things work. It's not been an easy one, so I'm grateful. I'm grateful we finally were able to pull it off. Your vibe with the pregnancy. Yeah, well, shout out to Tiwa and her pregnancy. I really like how Shaliwa spoke to the Ghanaian. Yeah, she needed to. Tiwa, we love you from there. Shout out to you guys in Yankee, man. I'm happy the finale was better than I expected. I knew it was going to shut a lot of people up. But then there are still some people that were not happy with it. It was too short. They only saw two scenes that made sense there. We can't please everybody. <laughs> but I'm happy. I knew a lot of people didn't expect the season to end the way it did. So that was a good twist for some people. That was a good twist for some people. So yeah. I, I, I felt the same, to me, my, let me tell you, my best things are always when there's Wosia and Mommy. Because every time I see them, I just remember shooting that scene. It was ridiculous. Like, every time we shot that scene, Miss Ngozi and Choma kept on cracking up. It was funny. If you notice the beginning of that scene, when you see Choma hold the outfit, you see her covering up and she was laughing because she couldn't hold it. Every take we took, she was literally laughing. It was ridiculous. And then when, we, when Mommy and I said, you dance like a masquerade, you don't go, ooh, like, what the hell, Naji? It was funny, especially lots of surprises. And oh, bless! I'm happy you guys really enjoyed it. You know, it's it, it comes full circle when you know that people are putting so much hard work, and then not only that, that the people that they put in all this hard work for eventually appreciate it. It's definitely worth it. So you lots are the realest MVP. Shout out to you, Danny. You know they always do the damn thing. They do, <laughs> and so yeah, we're grateful. We're back at work on Monday, but we're grateful. You all must be a vibe on set. On set, we fight, we love, we fight, we work hard. On set, it's like a, it's like, <laughs> it's a whole like 20 days of just madness, pure madness. <laughs> I was just happy about the episode. I had to post about it and encourage friends to watch. Oh, thank you guys. That's another thing as well, you guys. It takes nothing 
for you guys to do that but the fact that you guys constantly keep getting people to watch it says a lot thank you guys so much because like you lots know i don't know if you know we don't monetize our content so it's 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 the, the the appreciation we get is when we see the views you know when we see these views we're like ah okay this episode just came out when it's already 400 and something thousand views shout out to you guys they will pay our salary so <laughs> please keep helping us spread the word around let them be watching <laughs> let them be watching you know the views are important that's how we we calculate ourselves so please the views and the subscriptions thank you guys so much and danny is finally over 300 000 subscribers and it's been it's been how many years in the making and danny is almost seven years old so that that, that that's a lot so thank you guys so much i was crying when oh everybody was so emotional about diddy's engagement scene why you all love love why what's the time before bisola will slap me okay there's still time <laughs> you said this, this proposal was beautiful. Huh? I'm coming. We need over one million views on each SGIT episode. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We do. So you guys just please tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to keep sharing. I don't know when the next season is coming out, you know. So I don't know. I don't know when it is. I don't know if it is. It's not my it's not my place to say to be honest with you. So <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well thank you guys so much for watching. Please follow in Danny. Please go back to their platform. Check there are more contents there. There's more content to come. Once we get over COVID, you know. Ah, uh -huh, yummy tense for the upper upper case leather. Thanks so much, man. I do appreciate it. <laughs> but thank you guys, man. I can't even lie. It's it's been interesting to watch. Like I said, when I'm finally able to sit down and put my thoughts together, I will not be able to say how I you know I'll give you as a bimbola a viewer what my expectations were for this season what my expectations turned out to be you know how i felt about it and you know just all that good stuff so yeah please ma is there another ah, i don't know what these questions i can't really i can't really say please can i appreciate my hair let me distract you with it can i appreciate my hair please i have no comb it <laughs> i have to find a way to twist it i don't know how but god's gonna do it <laughs> It's good to hear all these positive things from... Sorry, my tripod is going to start shaking. No, there's so much negativity on the internet. Oh, no, no. This is me choosing to focus on the positive, my love. There's so much negativity everywhere. Yep, Shungage is real, bro. Like, she real. She, like, real, real. She, she real. <laughs> um, yeah, there's so much negativity everywhere. And I don't know why, you know. I don't know why. You will think that during this time, it will stop people and make them stop and... And, and, and think it will make them stop and try to be a bit a, a bit human you know but to think that instead all it does is just make people hate it's very sad I was um, when I take a shower is when I literally just tune into YouTube to be honest with you it's when I sorry my tripod keeps shifting it's when I literally just say okay let me find out what the hell is going on on YouTube you know and I just opened it this morning when I was taking a shower and I I, 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 I saw a message a video from this guy called Nehi and he was just talking about you know how people have just first of all the entire you know people going on twitter to throw people under the bus to bring out tweets from when they were younger and all of that i mean it's sad let me tell you why it's sad because there are a lot of people that are behind this camera right now you know talking about how they want to be popular when i have people that send me messages half of the messages that people send me is that they want to be famous they want to blow people don't realize that first of all that blowing is not for everybody and secondly it comes at a cost at a cost in terms of the fact that you can never have your own form of privacy which is why especially for those that especially if your aims and aspiration is to be famous i've said this before on my youtube channel and i'll say it again it was never my aim and aspiration to be famous and that this has happened has happened but i'm also so grounded in who i am because of where i'm coming from that i don't get carried away now that being said my foundation is very important i keep telling people how one is raised how i was raised has always affected who i am so it will never reflect in terms of things like tweeting and all of the point I'm trying to make is that if you go into my past, you can't find anything. 
But there's some people that when they're living, they're just living in the moment because you never think so far. And that's what I'm saying. If you're young right now, it's important in our generation. A lot of us don't have foresight. You know, people are so carried away with the now. They're just living with the now. What is happening today? Where I'm going to be next year? Well, they don't think about the future. And sometimes I know thinking five years from now can be scary. But I always say don't plan for that fifth year now. But just start planning towards it. You get what I mean? Because if you start to plan towards it, then it kind of helps you out. So a lot of young people did a lot of, excuse my French, dumb shit, you know? Writing rubbish, typing rubbish, and just not thinking that it will ever come out. And I keep telling people, the internet is such a powerful thing. It's the same way I say never send news to your boyfriend or to your girlfriend. Because, you see, nothing can ever be hidden. My mom used to people will say that nothing can ever be hidden. Even if you mess inside water, bubbles will still come up. Listen to that. Try and imagine it. Imagine for... For those that don't understand, imagine going underwater when you're swimming, right? And you fart. They're still going to know, you know what? Because bubble going to come up. So that's what they're trying to say, meaning that nothing can ever be hidden or stay hidden for too long. So every time people, you need to learn, when I say live your life intentionally, it's that, you know, purposefully to make sure that what you're doing now is because you are trying to make sure that the future is paved. You can't just be so carried away with the now that you forget that there's a future. And that's what happened to most of these people, you know. I love Nella. I don't know who the hell she is. But I love her because she cracks me up. But then there are tweets that came from, you know, her past that is now coming to haunt her. And she was, old, she was big enough to own it. But my point is, she owned it. But I feel sad. Not for her. For the people that went to go and dig it up. The reason why I'm saying this is that when I come on here, maybe not YouTube, when I go on my live, you know, and people are constantly saying stuff and always saying stuff. And then when I go on my DMs, it's always contrary to. There are people that will come in my DMs and insult me, but will come on my live and heal me. There are people that will come on my lives and heal me, but in the comment sections that they never thought I would see have insulted my destiny. Now, I don't care, to be honest with you, because I know who I am and whose I am, which is the child of God. So I don't really care. I'm not looking for validation from people. But there are people that are constantly looking for validation from people. And so it's when you give that, those kind of people opportunity that they start to feel like, no, they can have a stay over your life. Then they're now the same people that will not come and hate on you. Imagine these kind of people. You sat down. You are so bored. In this quarantine that you should be praying for your life. That you should be praying that nothing will ever touch you and your family. You went to go and sit down on Twitter. This girl is blowing too much. Why is she having all these followers? No, 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 no. You went to go and look for tweets of 2014. In 2020 what are you doing with yourself guys let's talk about this thing come on i don't know if you're seeing what i'm trying to say i feel like i'm rambling but then the sense it's it's sad so i don't even feel bad for nella because i know that she's going to she's going to blow that's the truth let me tell you why energy is important spirit you can tell that she's a good nature person it takes a lot for you to, be able to get your friends constantly to come and sit down and do video with you if you're a dirty person they will not do it she's constantly surrounded with people that are good you can tell so she will go far. But the other people, that's the only way something took her the other day. I said it. That these people, they are point spirits. Because it takes a point spirit person to sit down and every time be so bitter to just want to constantly pull, pull, pull people down. What, what, what are you doing? Like, why? How bad is your life that all you want to do is just put negativity out there? It's, 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 it's sad for me. So please, if you're one of those people that you're a troll, all you do is just sit down, insult people, judge people, I send healing into your heart, man, because I, 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 I don't know, I don't, I don't know what it is, you know. It's, it's sad. It's sad, and I'm being very dead on, honest with you. I had the same conversation with Sharon like about two days ago as well. You know, the kind of things people send to people, the kind of messages, the kind of comments. It's sad. For example, three episodes ago, be four episodes ago, somebody. This, and you know the part, people are very sad <laughs> it's funny, anyways, I think I've done a review on one episode, I can't remember what episode it was I didn't watch it, somebody sent me a screenshot of where somebody had gone and written about how they heard that T.Y. is similar to Abimbola's life the only difference is that I don't have a boyfriend I'm very, my shoulder is very up they heard that I'm this kind of person, they heard that and I laughed, the reason why I laughed is because this person doesn't know me so it, took, it, didn't, it, didn't, it didn't affect me but Sharon and I were talking, and Sharon was talking about how people constantly send her messages where they say the most. If you see the messages that people send to people, I'm not even going to only say Sharon, just generally to people. People are wicked, guys. So the point I'm trying to make is if you don't know who you are, your spirit can be bound. You can just, you know, and then someone will say, hey, well, you chose to be popular now. You are the one that chose to be. No, understand me. I've always said it before. That's, you see me like this now. 
you can have an opinion about me. Jekwe is fine. Where the problem is and where the line is constantly crossed is when you feel the need to come on my personal page to tell me your opinion about me when you don't know me. I don't care if you call your friend to tell your friend about who you think I am. But don't do it in my DM. It's not, it's not polite. It's sad. It's rude. So people that do these things, you're a sad person. And it's not good. It's not, it's not good. And when, when, when Nehi TV, you know, broke it down, I like the fact that he came from a biblical point of view because it was so beautiful to see. It's so, you guys need to go and check out that particular video. I think he posted it today. Nehi, N-E-H-I TV. Like, if you're not a Christian, it will not move you. But if you're someone looking for spirituality and you're not sure whether you're going to find it with Christ or you're going to find it with Allah or you're going to find it with Buddhist you shall know that after that video, you're going to want to find a spiritual connection. Because he was so apt. Like, me, I'm too much of a practical person. But that video was so apt that I was just like, I'm happy. At the end of it, I've even told people that if you want to give your life to Christ, say these words with me. And it was beautiful. So please, I want people to understand that in this time of this COVID, God is literally trying to tell us to pause. But in this moment of pausing, to think that some people just don't change is very sad. It's very sad. These are the times when we should sit down and try to reflect on what we want to do with ourselves, on who we want to be, on where we want to go. But to sit down and just be insulting people and going back to dig up people's past, is you, are, you have to be a very sad person to want to do that. So please, you know, we appreciate the love. We appreciate the support. But please don't be bitter. Don't ever, nobody is worth you going to hell over. Because if you think about it, that's what it is, though. A lot of people projecting is exactly what you said. That's called projecting when people come to your personal social. A lot of people, a lot of people, and the truth is, we're all dealing with our insecurities, and I agree with that. But it's more painful when you come with your own insecurity and try to project it on somebody else. You know, all this oh, everybody's cancelled, cancel, cancel God. Are you God? Who gave you the spirit to cancel anybody? You can't cancel anybody. You're not Jesus. So please, let everybody just this COVID. Let's just try and. You know, let's try and be good. Like I said, nobody's worth going to hell over. If you think about it, you understand what I mean. Because when we reach that front gate, you know, God will ask you when you open the book of uh, heaven, he will ask you, what have you done so far on your time on it? You would think there's all these small, small things that he will not take account. But he sees everything. He sees everything. He, he will write everything inside there. From the time he stole pots, meat from the pots, when you were just about to be 10. And you say, oh, but God, I was still young. You say, no, 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 no. You were a day from being 10. Technically, I classify it as 10. You knew right from wrong. This, I cut you out. Because the truth is, we're all sinners. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. So what makes you think you're perfect to not be pulling people down? Come on, get off. Stop it, please. So I just want us to, you know, coming out of this madness and this chaos, to just learn to be more of our own person. Learn not to look for any form of validity from anybody but ourselves and christ if you're christian and just try to do better you know just try to do better life is short as it is there's no it's too much it's too much work to be hating on people and then imagine the worst part hating on people that don't know you like it's worse like you must be really sad anyways i don't want to talk about that anymore i said what i said please let's just try to do better this time around yeah and um i'm going live with bisola at 8 p.m and on monday i'm going to be going live on in danny's instagram page with the director of skinny girl in transit Bumi Ajakai. and we're going to be talking to people and answering whatever questions you don't have please like i always say before i'm all grateful for questions when you're going to see my face go like this is when your question is not constructive. You know how some people like to argue, and Nigerians, we like to argue. Even me, I like to argue. But guess what? I never argue to win. I argue to pass my point across. Some people argue to win, and that's why they always lose. Because some argument is not right or wrong. It's not win or lose. It's just make sure your point is across. We don't have to meet, agree, but we have to meet in the middle. So please, <laughs> when you're coming at us with your question, or with your constructive criticism, you know, make sure you have think about it. Please do make sure you have dipped it. Please do make sure it makes so much sense that when me so I hear it, it's gonna be like, oh yeah, I do see where you're coming from. Because I have no shame in agreeing with people or saying I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not that kind of person, you know. Those things are small things to me. So please, 
when you are coming at us, come at us with, you know, campaign, you understand me? Don't come with me from a viewer, especially if you now start talking about scripts. Because some people be talking about script, they never written one script in their life. You know, don't come and be talking to me as a writer. I'm going to ask you, what did you write? Where was it seen? Hello, who do produce your write up? You understand me? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Maybe I'm not. But the point I'm trying to make is, you know, sit down. If you still have time and if you still got data, you know, go and watch this entire season as a whole. If God has blessed you with data and diaspora, how about you watch on season one to season six? Write your points as you are doing it. Don't worry, guys. I'm seeing the time. I'm going off now. Write your points as you are seeing it. And be writing it down so that when you come at us, you're coming with facts, figures, opinions. You understand me? And hopefully, suggestions. You know? This is what I saw. This is what I think. This is what I, you know? So, yeah. I would do like it. So, thanks so much for everything. I love you guys so much. I'm going to do another YouTube live because I miss you people. This video, hopefully it come out tonight. If not tomorrow, I promise you, I'm not going to sleep. I want to run tomorrow. Hey, and I need to clean my house. Guys, can I tell you the part I ate about this COVID thing? Because as I live in Nigeria, I don't have washing machine in my house. Yes, I go to the laundrette. I hate washing. I've had to be hard washing. Oh, God. And my cleaner don't come anymore. So I do a lot of house labor that I didn't used to do. I've not done in the past like seven years. Now I wash my clothes. I mop my floor. I sweep my house. It's so much work. But it's helping us keep the weight down. And we're intermittent fasting. So we thank Olua. So, tense. No, it's not really blue puzzle. It's just little things I had on my phone that were just hilarious to me that you lots probably won't see. So, yeah. Someone say lazy woman. It's not lazy. With the kind of work I do in real life, I just said to myself that if God have blessed me to be able to afford small coins to make my life a little bit easier, why not? But for the past one month, let me do it. Let me mop. Let me clean. Let me wash clothes. It's so hard. Because I haven't done it in a while, but that's why I cut my nails. So, anyways, thank you guys so much. So much, so much, so much. It's called being an employee. <laughs> Employer, who shade? Yeah, and now even with the COVID, we still have to pay salary to people that don't work. But we bless God. That's why when God bless you, you should try and bless others if you can. Yeah. So, that's where we're at. Alright, guys. I need to go live with Bizolad now. I don't know if I'm going to save this or not. I don't know really how I feel about this. But I'm going to leave it for a while, just for people to watch it. And then, yeah, that's it, my people. I love you guys so much. I do love you. I do love you. You know, when I first started YouTube, guys, I didn't used to say that, you know. It was like bare hard. But then I've met like bare amazing people, bro. Do you guys notice how when I want to be serious here, yeah? I'll be forming like some dead ass accents. Like, what's wrong with me? Stop it. <laughs> but, yeah, man. I do love you guys. I do love you all, man. I, I so much love you. Like, oh God, I'm talking in the rubbish. I'm talking in the nonsense. Please catch me live on Bissolat's Instagram page in five minutes. All right? My Instagram handle. Oh, it's Abimbala Craig. Oh, you're not following me, girl. I'm not interested. I don't post pictures. I'm not really into pictures. But my story always be lit, though. Oh. So, yes, man. Thank you guys so much. I so much appreciate the love. Oh, jeez. Watch my last video. Hello. It's funny. I was talking about perfume. And I spoke about a perfume that can lock down a man. Yeah. Period. All right, guys. I'm going to save this now. And then I'll see you guys. Maybe I'll do another live. Maybe next week. But I'll put a video for you. people. I have two videos. I'll shoot. Three, actually. And now that I edit, I'm going to put it. That I promise I'm going to do better. We're on 35K. We can get to 40,000. I don't know when. <laughs> but we can get there. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. Tell so much, guys. Peace out. Kisses. Kajit. Kajit. Lera. See you. Kajit. Lera. Send me this your clothes and air. I cannot off the air, but the clothes I can send to you. Let me know where. Thanks. You say, let me know where. It's a small thing. All right, guys. I'm going to go now. 100K before the end of the year. Huh? Julia. <laughs> can we do it? Am I that? big enough for you people to do that for me i don't know it's quite a rich but with god all things are possible all right guys i gotta go this is not gonna kill me bye guys